Devonshire, how are you? This is Gabriel Lament, and I'm so excited that you guys have joined us for our Biz Spotlight video. Now, I am very, very excited about this particular video because we're gonna get a chance to learn and find out about someone who is involved within candies. Now, we've done food and desserts, all that stuff before, but this is the first for our show, so I'm really happy about that. So, without further ado, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Lee Wickland. Hello, Devonshire. We had moved into the community uh, back in September. We moved here from Virginia. I own a, a business, Wickland's Candies, and I started it when I was 18 years old. Wow. Yes, <laughs> a long time. I won't tell you how old I am now. <laughs> Um, so now, since we have recently relocated, I am currently here trying to get my business rolling um, in the DFW area, and hopefully we'll be in a brick and mortar soon. But for now, I will be here ready to serve you. <laughs> right on. Uh huh. Okay, so now we're talking about serving and the good thing is we're talking about serving some sweet deliciousness here. Absolutely. So, tell me what types of candies you, uh, that you specialize in. Uh, all types of chocolates, especially sugar free. So for you diabetics out there, we got you covered. We do keto as well. So can't say I'm on keto because <laughs> you know what? We got you covered there. <laughs> So we do birthday parties, um, any type of holiday, gifts, uh, you name it, I could make it. Wow, well that's amazing. So I always like to find out more about why people do what they do. You know, um, everyone's got their story and I feel like everyone's story is very important and that's where we get a chance to really connect with the Devonshire community to understand the person behind the business. So. How did you get into doing candies? Because you said you started this at age 18. So yes. tell me exactly how you got into making candies. Okay, so as a little girl, we used to go to a chocolate shop and it was just the most amazing place to walk into. We, it would be a special occasion for Easter that we would go to this candy store and just wait on a line to get in there. It would be about an hour. Wow. And then it would be another hour or two hours before you got waited on. Mm. So for me, just walking around this, this candy shop, taking it all in, everything was made fresh in-house. So I got to actually see in the back of the kitchen as they were preparing everything, putting everything out fresh. So to me, that's something that was very important as a little girl. It wasn't going to the grocery store or your local Walmart, which we really didn't have back then, but it was something that was made, not just out of a box. Hmm. So I just, the smell of the place just set your senses off. Wow. And looking around at the colors and the people preparing it and the smiles on their face. <laughs> Even though the store was super packed, everyone was helpful and and how could you not have a smile on your face with candy? Wow. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's crazy because now you get a chance to understand that her doing this will always remind her of her childhood. You know, we've all got those things that remind us of, of our childhood and we go, right. those were the days and things mm -hmm. like that. And she has now been able to make her, those are the days, her every day with what she's doing with her candy here. So um, one thing that I'm super happy about because she said she does sugar free. I didn't know that high five there. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, that's good for a lot of us who have to watch our sugar. So that's really neat there. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be an interview if we didn't get a chance to find out what you have here because hey y'all, she brought some things in and I'm excited to hear about it and taste it. So what have you brought for us for today? So first we have our signature peanut butter cup. Okay. That's really what set Wickland's candies off. Okay. Going back to my childhood, I had gotten a chocolate bunny for Easter and it was just missing something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, it needs peanut butter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I 
dumped that bunny in some peanut butter and I was in heaven. Right on. And so as I got older and started, you know, getting into my own chocolatier and figuring what I was going to make, we started with the peanut butter cup. And so that is the signature. So that is the signature peanut butter cup. Man. And you eat one of these and you will never eat a Reese's again. Oh. <laughs> she called them out. Sorry, That's right. I yeah. did call them out. Mm. Now I see why. <laughs> she, she's telling y'all the truth. I'm just saying that. I, I had to get in the camera so y'all could know. Yeah, this is awesome. They don't look, get me looking all messy at the face. Hold on. You get it's fresh mm. peanut butter, mm. so it's it doesn't have a lot of um, extras in it per se. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it doesn't have a, a shelf life. Wow. These are made to order. If I do make them um, ahead of time, if I'm doing a show or an event that somebody, you know, wants some peanut butter cups, I wouldn't let them sit for more than two weeks. Wow. So That's incredible. you're getting yeah. as fresh as you could possibly get. Which is just like the candy shop you told us about from your childhood. Exactly. Wow. Right on. Exactly. Wow. And that's what I strive for. Yes. I want people to enjoy what they are eating, not not be like, oh yeah, okay, I just went to the local market and picked some chocolates up and I want you to feel special yeah. when you're eating. Because everyone should feel special. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Even if it comes down to a little piece of chocolate that made your day. Yeah. Yeah, and for some people, chocolate is therapy, <laughs> and I know some of y'all going, yeah. So it's good that there's a lot of uh, time and heart that goes into being able to make these. So what else do we have, too? Okay, the next is our dark chocolate coconut macaroon. Okay. And then we have a salted caramel. Uh-huh, yes. that's another one. <laughs> yeah. And okay. the caramel is also a special caramel that you will never, ever, ever be able to replicate from a store bar. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm so glad we did this interview. I get to taste things. There we go. So this is the salted. Yes. And again, oh, yeah. it's made with fresh cream, so we don't have a long life expectancy on this. So again, And it's super no balanced. Shelf. And super balanced. Super balanced, uh -huh. so it's not being overwhelmed with the salt and it just balances out the sweet perfect. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Thank you. Love it, love it, love it. Uh huh. And it's nice and creamy, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's not something I know a lot of people worry about eating caramels because they have dentures or they have crowns or something. This is not going to stick to your teeth. It's very smooth, melts, so you should all be fine eating those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I am super happy off of this. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, I also saw that you brought in one of your other pieces that you do. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about this? Because I know that you're able to do um, chocolate for different events. Absolutely. She is the one that hooked up that amazing sweets table for our uh, Devon Shriek event that we did last year. Mm -hmm. And so that table didn't last because you guys hammered through it. <laughs> this is the person that was responsible for that. Yeah. Yeah. So can you go ahead and show them what you have here? Okay. So this is just something I know. But let's not forget St. Patrick's Day either. I know it's fun for the kids to kind of let them experience the different holidays and us not really rush through them. And, and kind of, you know, give them a little bit of the sense of what St. Patrick's Day is like. Mm -hmm. And I know we have the little elves that we kind of tell them about, but this is something nice for them to maybe have and leave and say, oh, the little elves left it, mm -hmm. or kind of, you know, just do something fun for the kids. Yeah. So I have a little rainbow here with some pot of gold, with some gold coins. Um, <laughs> just like I said, a little something fun. Now the rainbow pops, um, you could do those for birthdays, I do unicorns, anything that you have um, that your kids might be into, reach out to me. Chances are I could probably make it. So it would be perfect for any of those themed birthday parties mm -hmm. or let's even say baby showers. Absolutely. Weddings, mm -hmm. baby showers, um, 
You know, I told you about the key for the realtors. Yes. I have, I make welcome home keys. I make houses that say sold. So really sky is the limit. Right on. I yeah. make baskets, anything you really, you know, could come up with. I can help those dreams come true, yeah. basically. Wow. Baskets, any type of baskets. And I do deliver locally as well. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. So that's even good too. You can place the order and have it brought right to your doorstep. That's that's about as good as it gets, just <laughs> saying. So definitely, I want to say, Lee, thank you so, so, so much for doing this Thank you for having me. No, that, that's the easy <laughs> part. I'm happy we were able to do this, and I'm so happy off the sugar I just got to have right now. Y'all like, I thought he said he has diabetes. Yes, don't tell anybody I did it, but you guys all saw it. So yeah, uh, definitely again, thank you so much for doing this interview. You're Devonshire, please make sure you go ahead and contact Lee. All of her information will be at the end of this video, so you can know how to get in contact with her to be able to get all the sweets that you might need for in-house or for your events, whatever it might be, Lee has you covered. All right, well, awesome. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this episode of our Biz Spotlight, and we'll be seeing you guys for the next episode. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.